guys. Welcome to Stitch Mania Day 11. It looks like Mother Nature got her head on straight again, and she did take the snow away, so I'm thankful for that. But now I'm sweltering in my car again. Actually, I didn't think it was this hot out here, and I came and set up my, my new uh, tripod, which is what you're sitting on right now. And thank you. Hi guys, welcome to Stitch Mania Day 11. Uh, here I am with a slight change in venue today because I moved to the back seat. I had to do that because I hooked up my tripod and I started talking to you guys. And the sun is, so I'm facing my garage door, which is white. It's very bright, not white. And the sun was just glaring in my eyes. <laughs> And I didn't think you'd want to see me squint the whole time. And you probably didn't want to see me wearing sunglasses. I don't know. Maybe that doesn't bother you. But I just decided to move to the back seat because with my new tripod, I can. I can it just like hooks on anything. So I'm going to actually insert a picture either here or I'll show you at the end how I have it hooked onto the back of my, uh, the back of the driver's seat. So it's very cool. I love this thing so far. Um, I noticed that it comes with a Bluetooth remote. Um, but I forgot to bring that out, so I'll, I'll try that tomorrow and see if it works. But yeah, so far I like it. Made it uh, very easy and it's very stable, so I could actually, I could even shake the car and you probably don't shake, but I don't know. Oh, well, how's everybody doing? It's Saturday and I found myself with a very unexpected day to myself. I don't even need to be in my car right now filming, but I did just because it's um, just... I really like it. I really like filming in my car, and you guys don't seem to mind it. So, hey, if it works for everybody, um, we'll just keep doing it this way. So, yeah, um, for me to have time by myself is, like, very rare, very unusual. So, I'll take it. I love it. I'm going to stitch. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to stitch all day. Now, but I thought I better film this because I have to decide, do I want to keep on working on the one I chose yesterday? The, this one. Just to refresh your memory, the dimensions, I always forget what this is called, Sunflower Snowman. I worked on it last night, was working on it a bit earlier today, and for the first time, I'm absolutely loving this one. This is the first time I've worked on this one that I, that I didn't put it away thinking, you know, ah, that's tedious, or there was just something I didn't like about it, or, you know, but uh, I am really enjoying it. So the question is... Do I keep working on this today and get some more headway? Um, either way, I'm going to pick a whip with you guys while I have you here. Because what I was thinking is I'm going to pick a whip. And then I'm either going to continue working on this today and work on that whip tomorrow. Uh, or, yes, because I'm thinking of possibly not uploading a video tomorrow. I think that because it's Mother's Day... Um, I'm going to go have coffee with my mom. Probably go visit my mother-in-law. And then... Um, that's it. I mean, I don't have a huge, we don't have a lot of huge plans tomorrow, but uh, I thought just in case I don't get a video up, I'm just going to tell you that there might not be one, but there might be. It depends on what we do. Like I said, today, as far as I'm concerned, I'm celebrating Mother's Day today. So, uh, yeah, so I'll pick a whip and then um, you'll just have to be surprised the next time I film to see which one I worked on. I mean, I'm going to work on them both, but will I continue on this one? And I'm just babbling now. I'm sure you guys really don't care what I work on. So I'm just thinking out loud. Uh, so let's, sh let's show you where I'm at so far, though, um, with the Sunflower Snowman. Oh, before, I know, hold on, one more thing. I got one more thing to say because I made some notes because there were two people I was just reading through the comments, and there were two questions. I've never, I've never addressed questions actually like this. I'm not used to doing that. I sat down and I was getting ready to film. It's like, oh, I forgot to see who asked those questions. Um, so I just wanted to really quickly uh, say hi to the Rocking Stitcher. Hi, Rocking Stitcher. Actually, just before I started filming this video, when I was looking to see who left that comment. Um, I noticed you had a YouTube channel, so I subscribed, but I haven't watched any of your videos yet. So I'll go check you out. And you had just mentioned something that I wanted to respond to right away. And you said, are there any Dimensions kits with birds that I haven't stitched yet? <laughs> As a matter of fact, yes, there's a bunch that I would love to stitch that I don't have. I have some in my stash that I haven't started yet, but there are plenty that I haven't even purchased yet. There's, you know, like chickadees and lila or chickadees and I don't know. There's a lot. There's a lot out there. So 
I know, kind of seems like I have them all, but yeah, there's still some, there's still some I don't own, crazy. So, uh, but um, there's still time, right? As long as they're not out of print, I'll probably own them at some time, at some point. Uh, also, Wildwood Stitcher, um, I don't know your name, your real name, but I just wanted to um, comment on something you said. You had asked me about what hoop I was using in this project, product, that project I was showing you. So, this was... Well, okay, while we're at it, let me just show you because I can't show you the hoop without showing you the progress that I made. So let's move on to showing you the progress that I did. So yeah, it has a bird on it now. So I think that's why all of a sudden, hold on, there's a loud truck going by. So there's a bird on this project and I think that that's what finally made it fun is because it's like alive now. It's, not, it's a bird that's backstitched actually, so he's complete. And surprisingly enough, I thought, oh, I'm going to go in and finish the bird from what I showed you yesterday. And when I went in, he actually is done. He was done being stitched because all of this white in the middle here and all that white that you see is just not stitched. It's just the background of the Ada. And at first I was thinking, oh, I don't really like that because you could really see, can you see the holes? I mean, it has that very unstitched look. And I thought, you know, I'm going to fill him in with white. But then I started noticing that all of the white in the tree that you see and actually all of the white, most of this white in the snowman's face, it's all just not stitched. So I don't know why I would turn this into a full coverage project when I really don't. I mean, I think it's going to look fine just leaving it the way it is. So yeah, I think that's just the style they chose to do with this is just leave that white part unstitched. So yeah, I'm going to leave it like it is. And it just made me realize this project just doesn't, it's not taking me too long. I mean, it's not going to take me too long. Famous last words, but it seems to be going quick. So what I had done is I just had to uh, stitch some of the stitches that butt up against what I needed to backstitch. So um, I did a little bit of that and did some of these stitches here. Then I backstitched the bird and then I went over to the tree and I started filling in the rest of the holes that I hadn't filled in up here. And basically just worked on down and this right here maybe about right down here is the bottom of the pro project so I don't have very much farther to go so I would actually like to continue and just finish off the tree before I put this away but I don't know it depends which whip I pick because if I pick one that I'm just dying to work on then it's going to pull my attention away from this one to that one so we'll see we'll just have to see what I feel like doing um so oh yeah so back to the hoop. To answer the question to, about the hoop, this is called a, a Morgan no-slip hoop, but the way I have it is actually this here. It's a Morgan no, uh, a Morgan hoop stand, or is that what it's called? Morgan hoop stand. And actually, I had first seen this with, with I was at one of the, um, my local stitching, the stitching shop has a stitch in on the last Sunday of every month, and there is a couple of other floss tubers that go there but the one that was using this stand her name is Melissa hi Melissa and uh, she has a floss tube channel with another Colorado stitcher named Jenny and they're called K and J stitches is it stitches or stitchers um, one of the two but they have a floss tube channel also and Melissa swears by this this Morgan hoop stand and so I had to get it because what I wanted to learn how to do is the two-handed stitching so see you can set this on a table or set it on your lap and keep one hand under you know keep one hand underneath and one on top and, and stitch two-handed which requires some practice and I'm still working on that as a matter of fact I was working on that when I hooked the stand up to this to show you I thought oh I might as well practice some of my two-handed stitching so I was doing that this morning and and you get faster at it the more you do but it comes in different sizes, so you can flip it over, and you can have the small size, the small size hoop, and I think this is like, I don't know if this is like a 6 and a 10 inch, but they have like a 7 and a 12 or something. Don't quote me on the sizes, but you can get different sizes, and if you don't want the stand, you can actually just get the Morgan hoops, and I really like them. As a matter of fact, the reason I don't use them most of the time is because um, I, I'm, just, I'm sorry, I was just noticing that I'm already at 10 minutes. So this might not be a very short video today, but uh, the reason I don't use these a lot is because they're just slightly heavier than my Susan B hoop, Susan Susan Bates hoops, <laughs> Susan B Susan B Anthony, Susan Bates hoops that I use. Those are very lightweight, and I have a lot of those. But this one has 
almost like a little ridge in the center. So you can kind of see that that's, that's the outside of that one. And then the inside of this one has kind of that little ridge right there. So it really tucks in and holds the fabric tight. So I really like it. Um, so yeah, look them up. They're pretty easy to find. You can get them on Amazon or at your local craft store. I mean, I see them everywhere. So just either the hoops or the hoop stand. So, okay. Um, and I just really wanted to show you that last, to also wanted to show you that last night I did finish stitching Dancer. He's all backstitched and he was cute. Uh, yeah, got him done. So now I'm, I just need to take a picture for Instagram and then I'm going to put him away, work on him maybe at Christmas. Um, okay, let's pick a whip so that this video doesn't get too long. And um, let's pick one. I won't go right into the middle like I always do. I'm in the mood for fall, and I really wish it would be some. I don't even know if I have a fall project, but okay. Let's see here. And this is the bag because I ran out of fabric and had to piece some together. So um, this is one. Okay, this is one I can't show you because it's just a chart but I know which one it is. But I don't know how I'm gonna be able to show you which one it is. Um, no, I thought I might have printed off a, uh, this is actually from a website and I think it's from Anchor, uh, the Anchor Floss. I think it's a freebie on their website and it is a Kingfisher, like you can't tell. Anyway, that is, um, gosh, I feel like it's just a, short, a small one. There's just like some cattails, I think, on the side. It's I think this project's been around for a while. I've seen other people stitch it. So, um, yeah, I don't know why I haven't finished this one yet. I think it was just kind of tedious to work on just some blends, or I don't I don't really know. I, I know it was a little bit tedious. Either that or I think the pattern. I need to do enlarge the pattern because it was really tiny. Um, but he looks like a kingfisher. You can definitely see him there, and I know he has beautiful colors. So... Okay, yeah, so I will put some stitches in this one, and I'm going to continue working on that one because, yes, I'm feeling the other one more than I'm feeling this one right now, but I will put some stitches in on this one because it is mania after all, and that is what I'm doing. So, all right, guys, I think that's all I have to say. I've taken up enough time of your time of your day today. I hope you all have a nice Mother's Day tomorrow, and if I don't upload a video tomorrow, Sunday... May 12th, then I'll see you on May 13th on Monday. All right, guys, have a good weekend. Bye. I forgot to tell you one thing. Um, remember yesterday when I was telling you that there was something about this that I was just dying to tell you and I couldn't think of what it was and I knew there was something. Yeah, it wasn't anything big. I was just going to mention the fact that this is the first project that I've pulled out, the first whip that I've pulled out that doesn't have a bird on it. So like I said, I thought most of them did have birds, but I knew there were maybe a couple that didn't and this was one of them. So no bird on this project, but it still has an animal, though. Um, and I did want to say one other thing that you guys would be very impressed with me um, because I swizzled or twizzled, swizzled or twizzled some of my floss in anticipation of putting this away. So, you know, those rat's nests of floss I showed you? Look at them now, how nice and pretty they are, ready to be stuck back in the bag. I mean, they're not amazingly pretty, but look at that. So this is what I like to do with my dimensions floss when I'm putting it away, except a lot of times I don't know I'm putting away something for a while. I think, oh, I'll get back to that uh, tomorrow. And then next thing you know, a year later. So, but when I know that I'm going to put a, a, one of my kits away, I do like to twizzle them or swizzle them. I don't know if that's the technical term. I've heard that somewhere on somebody's floss tube once a while ago, and I don't know. I think that's what it's called. Do you guys know how to do that? I think everybody knows how to swizzle or twizzle their floss, but... Uh, I saw somebody do it and, and it, I hadn't, so I don't know, maybe if you don't know how, I'll show you. So I just left this, so you straighten up the strings and then, um, you just grab them. It's almost like making a uh, twisted cord. Have you guys ever made your own twisted cord? So yeah, everybody probably knows how to do this already, but anyway, you just twist it, you know, just take your finger, how do you twist it? The better twizzle you get or swizzle, twizzle or swizzle. And then you basically... And it just wants to hold in on itself like that. So, and then you can uh, put them away. Very nice. And then you make you look like you're an organized person. Okay. On that note, I'll say goodbye. Because <laughs> I'm really starting to get hot in here now. <sighs> Beads of sweat. Okay. Bye, guys. <laughs>